Hello and welcome everyone to the first exciting episode of what promises to be the most difficult Nuzlocke I have ever done. Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is the latest Pokemon game to come out. Nuzlocking it is different and unique and we're going to go over all the rules to how to do it today. I have a feeling it is going to be one of the most difficult gaming challenges I've ever done. Uh, here we are, we're on the start screen. Ah, it is well that uh, thou art here. We're talking to Arceus, aka Ace, am I right? We're already good friends with Arceus, so it's good. I am that which all humans call Arceus. Actually, in the game they call him Sinnoh, that's kind of weird. Uh, now I wish to know thine appearance. Okay, I've been thinking about this. Um, since in every game I've done on the channel, I always choose the male avatar, I'm switching it up. We're going with the Dawn avatar because Dawn's way cooler than that, like, that boring looking generic little boy. So we're going with Dawn. That is how we're going with it. Uh, what is thy name? We're probably not going to call Dawn Jonathan. Jonathan. Um... Let's see. I'm just gonna go with J, right? That's that's good. You could you, she could be called J. Done. <laughs> that's it. All is corrected as it should be. Yes. Here we go, J. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. Oh, is that right? A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Wonderful. Thank you. Speaking directly to God here, basically. Mm -hmm. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. All is that me? Okay, that immediately makes it sound like you have to fill the entire decks to find Arceus, which is what the game is trying to get you to do. So part of I, I will uh, say this is not my very first experience with the game. I'm not just turning on right now. I've been playing at home as well, so I have some idea of what to do and what to expect. I wanted to do that because I had a feeling figuring out how to play the Nuzlocke was going to be pretty difficult. Um, and I think that was accurate. I think I'm glad I did that because there are some weird ways to go about it. Like, one of the tricky things about this game is that you have to catch, like the game rewards you for catching lots of Pokemon. Obviously you can't do that in a Nuzlocke. You can still only catch, like, you know, one thing. Um, but even catching is different because it's not like you just go in the wild grass and like something pops out. Oh my gosh, it's Arceus and he's giving us a smartphone before we get sent into the past. My goodness. Hello, Ace. Thank you again. Hello. You can just, does everyone hear the J scream, right? Just, ah! You know what's happening. Here we go! Oh boy. Pokemon Legends Arceus. This game is so much fun though. So, uh, if you're unfamiliar with what Nuzlocke rules are to begin with, um, I'll just give you a quick rundown. The main number one rule is that uh, if any Pokemon faints at any given moment, it is considered dead and you have to release it or put it in the box or whatever. We're going to release it because that's how we do on this channel. We are hardcore. Um, number two, uh, you can only catch one... Typically, you can only catch the first Pokemon you run into in any given area. This is different because, like, what counts as running into stuff. Um, so there's, like, five big main areas in the game but then uh in those areas there's a bunch of like smaller areas that will change sort of like a route in a main in a regular game and i think the way we're going to do it is that we're allowed to catch one pokemon per area and we will i am going to allow myself the grace to choose what the pokemon will be um if if the situation occurs of like we go to try and catch that pokemon and that pokemon like runs away or releases or is fled that'll still that'll still count for that's our failed opportunity um if uh we knock it out that'll be a failed opportunity um so there there are still some ways we can whiff on the pokemon and then the uh, rule number three is that you have to nickname all of your pokemon i will say right now that the way we nickname pokemon on this channel is from the people in the comments so if you want a pokemon on the team nicknamed after you uh go ahead and leave a comment right now and do it. This is the episode to do it because we catch a lot of stuff early on and this is where a lot of stuff will come from. So if you want, uh, who are you? Look at this guy. What is he wearing? This is the weirdest looking professor I've ever seen. He's like, I've got uh, barely a mustache and I'm wearing a weird purple beanie. Everything's fine. I must say your clothing's unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? Oh, I don't know. I don't even know where I am, man. I was just talking to God, and now I'm here. You seem to be, uh, might I offer you some directions? Um, I don't know. I don't know where I am, weird man in a hat. 
What are you? You think my outfit's weird. Oh, gosh. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh, look at our little... I love that the starter Pokemon escaped. So, uh, who? Who are we going to pick? Who, I know who I'm going to pick. Who do you think I'm going to pick? Hmm? Hmm? I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Ah, cool. Boom. Splish splash. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. <laughs> it's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Oh, weird. It's almost like the starters. Of course I know what a Pokemon is. Come on, bro. What, what kind of shoes is this guy wearing to the beach? What is that? Ah, uh, that's a relief. Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures, that they are. Hmm, what might your name be? Ah, oh, Jay. Ah, oh, that is quite a ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. <laughs> Very lovely indeed. Oh, I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as the... Oh, I lost them. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Well, well, well. This guy. Oh, blasted bother! All right. Terribly sorry. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. I just fell out of the sky and I'm already being given chores to do. Gotta clean up this guy's mess as usual. Let's go. Come on. Oh, look. My phone. I want to drop that. Look at these. Here we go. All right. Uh, no one in this game questions the fact that you have like a smartphone. They're like, "What's that?" Well, that's cool. What a cool device. Like, yeah, yes, it is. Yes, it is. No one here has smartphones, so or whatever. The Arc Phone, I guess, is what it's called. By the way, I'm just gonna tell you guys. I say Arceus. I know some people say Arceus. I don't know. I don't know which one's right, and I'm gonna keep saying Arceus. So. Don't tell me if you if you disagree. <laughs> the arc phone. I bestow upon you the arc phone. Okay, all right, excellent. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this. I mean, this game is taking over my like. It's any every night. I'm just like I'm just gonna play this. I just play it a little, like another hour, and then I'll look down and feel like, oh my gosh, it's midnight. I need to go to bed. So much fun. All right, so yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna officially start like the begin the catching nuzlocke start of it um after we go through all the tutorials and stuff we might skip ahead a little right here i don't know because there's a lot of tutorial nonsense we have to get through Ra rowlet could photosynthesize yeah blah 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 i get it crew there's rowlet he's amazing there's cyndaquil look they finally put the flames back on cyndaquil's back uh what what nonsense was it to like start showing the avatar without the the fire so boring and there's Oshawott. I can tell you guys what, I chose Oshawott for my home playthrough. I've been very much enjoying it a lot. Uh, if you're not familiar, I had a feeling in this game that um, they were gonna have some, like, all, ooh, look at, I love the way the Pokeballs look. 50 Pokeballs, excellent. Uh, such a, um, that the starters would have alternate evolutions, very true. At least for the final stage. Um, I don't think the, the middle stage was the same, at least for Ashuat. I uh, know we've just met, but I know not so toad. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Yep, yep, I got it. I got it. I know what to do. I'm all over it, homie. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is good because I already sort of know what to do, right? Boom. Getting the ball. Yep. Yeah, we got it. I love the little, like, firework. Boop. That's so fun. Oh, wonderful, you've caught your Pokemon. Yes, yes, yes. Two more to go. All right. Let's see. We're going to go get Big Rowlet here. Boom. There we go. Yay. Now we have your fun Cyndaquil. Can you imagine if you ran out of all 50 balls here and just like, then what would he do? He's just like, ah, never mind. Don't worry about it. Uh, you don't need to. I guess that was it. You're not very good at this. See you later. What? Did you get out of the ball? Oh, that's part of the game. I'm afraid that can happen. Give it another go. Did you just call me old girl? Oh, you old. I'm not old. You're old. What kind of style do you have, old man? Wearing your weird purple hat. Laventon. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Thank you very much. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. All right, yeah, let's go to the village. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as they knew you'd come falling. Yes, yes, I am special. I have been sent here by God on a mission. 
to do something. Here's my phone. Seek out all Pokemon. An Arc phone? What an odd device! <laughs> I, a man of science, accept that that magical phone just came with you. Whatever. No big deal. Alright, but in order to properly document Pokemon, of course, we must catch them. And therein lies the rub. So yeah, I'm curious because part of the way you advance um, in the game is like getting new like research levels added to Yeah, you've convinced me. I'll help you out, I suppose, by catching lots of different stuff. And we're not going to be able to catch a lot of stuff. So uh, you do get some bonuses for battling, but I'm not sure if it'll be the exact same kind of situation. I don't know, because my when I'm doing my actual playthrough, I'm... Um, I am catching a ton of stuff. I'm exploring everywhere, and I, I'm curious. Like, I think I'm going to have to play a little bit differently, Nuzlocke-wise. And I will say that it has very much seemed like the game is a lot harder. Like, it is very easy to, like, have your Pokemon knocked out, even by stuff that's, like, way below your level and stuff. So we're going to have to be very careful. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot more Pokemon battling, though. That's the thing. Like, in my actual playthrough, I'm not doing as much battling. I'm just trying to catch stuff just by throwing stuff at it, because that works and it's faster. But um, if we're just trying to knock a ton of stuff out to get more levels, then we'll probably just do that. I think grinding's going to come fairly easily in that regard. Um... Oh boy, there's also not like regular gyms, so we're not going to be doing like a level cap on this particular run because one, I don't think we need to handicap ourselves anymore, and also I don't know what the level caps should or would be because I haven't finished playing the game, and I don't want to look up spoilers, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, if we get an easy win here or there, good. Good for us. It's going to be it's gonna be hard. All right, this way if you please. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Oh, you got to make me walk at this snail's place. Jubilife Village. Galaxy Expedition. Definitely not suspicious at all. Not suspicious that it's Team Galactic just running this whole town. Not weird at all. Nope. All right, get out of my way. Am I a faster walker than you? I'm going to get ahead of you. Yes, yes. Go. Go, Jay. Go. Get ahead of the old man. Now that impressive building up ahead is Galaxy Hall. Yes, I bet it is. All right. Here we go. Look, you can tell Lil J down there is, like, determined to get away from this guy. Oh, botheration! I'd almost forgotten! I need to go to report that we successfully recorded... Yeah, you... We accept successfully... I successfully recaptured it. Good thing you ran into... Me. Somehow it shows where you need to go next. How convenient! All right. Indeed. Let's go. Yes. In an unfamiliar land. Come to the Wallflower, which serves as the village canteen. All right, let's get drinks. Probably not. Look at this guy. That's quite a mustache. Socks and sandals, rocking it. Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The Wallflower is for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. No, all right, see ya. I love the facial expressions they give the characters in this game. There's a lot of just like, Ugh! We look so dejected. Hi, other person. Pokemon can slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes. Yeah, okay. You say that, but look at your shoes, dude. What are you wearing? Uh, there must have been something. Someone must have vouched for you. Yeah, it was just the professor. You've probably seen him. He doesn't look very credible, if you ask me. Not the most reliable sort, though. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, three more of them got away. Yep, yep, Thundershock. But, Professor, well, unfortunately, it's just as Ray says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Ha! Ah! Oh, this guy's name is Ray? Okay. But everything will be quite all right now. Jay here's green to help us with our Pokedex. That's right. I found a person on the beach, and I recruited them immediately. It's fine. As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps? What well, makes you think she's... A that, that's a good idea. We can't just take in any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. Yeah, this guy gets it. Meanwhile, I love this woman's uh, hairdo because it is exactly a skuntank tail. <laughs> right? She's got that Noel hair, that glorious skunk hair, right? That's what everyone wants. Assuming the individual can contribute to the survey call, that is. I'm captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Call. You may call me Silent. Yeah, you don't look like Cyrus. At all. Definitely not. Not suspicious. So nothing weird about this whole operation. Nothing at all. I, sw I haven't gotten to the end of the game yet. My suspicion is that you're playing through a situation where Cyrus completed his mission and, like, remade the world. Um, that's what he's trying to do in, like, the main Sinnoh games. So I'm thinking that's what's happening here, is that 
in his in that in whatever version of events we're in, um, he was not stopped and did win and got to control Arceus and Palkia, or not or Dialga and Palkia, our other hated enemies. Um, and that's what's happening. I don't know if that's what's happening. I guess we'll find out. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What did you need, Professor? I think I need a Pokemon is what we need. As Professor Pokemon, I've got the ticket to hell accomplish that. Yes! Here we go. Now we're talking. Boom. Boom. Oh boy. What starter Pokemon shall we pick? There can only be one option. Now I've already got uh, Oshawa at home. Uh, so I'm going to pick basically one of my favorite starters ever. And that's Rowlet. Oh, no. Whoops. <laughs> No, I do not want Oshawott. I want Bad Boy. Okay. Rowlet! There we go. We've got it. Awesome. Yes, we want Rowlet as our first partner. Hooray! Oh, look at him. A little, little, little bow tie leaves. He's so great. Yay! Here we go. How wonderful. How wonderful. Ah, uh, with that, one of the Pokemon you got at Prelude Beach for me would now be yours to keep. Good show. You know, it seems like if you really wanted to make sure I was going to pass, you'd give me all three, but whatever. That's fine. Do I get to name it? I need to name it. You received Rowlet. Actually, one of the things I like about this game is every time you catch something, it's not like, would you like to name that? Because you catch so much stuff typically that uh, that would be really hard to do. It would be an annoying screen to click through all the time. So we have to just go into the menu and do it from there. But you can just change the names at any point, so it's really easy. I believe you can also change the moves at any point. Really cool. Yeah. All right. City and Fieldlands. Let's go. Give me the Pokeballs. Get out of my way. I got stuff to do. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Meet me at the gate. To your left as you leave headquarters. All right. Great. Can do. Can I, can I change clothes yet? Can I get some style going here? Maybe. Oh, wait. Can we go? Yes. Where's Rowlet? Change name. All right. I think I have come up with a pretty good name. Oh, Flockhart. <gasps> Flockhart. That's right. Flockhart. Oh, he's so glorious. Let's see what are um change moves. I doubt we all we have is Gust, so there we go. We have Gust. We're fantastic. Here we go. You do hairstyles, right? You do clothes. Can I change my clothes yet? Nope, not yet. All right, doesn't matter. <clears throat> oh, look. Who could this be? Not Cynthia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is this like the future champion right here? Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can tell you're quite a character. Yes, I'm the one with a weird getup. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in history. Uh, I've heard talk about you. You fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Yes, that's me. Investigating the odd novel is a key to any good match and success. What do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? See you later. All right, you're going down, home slice. Bring it. All right, and we're into a battle. A Togepi. Go, Flockhart! Get him! <laughs> oh, it's such, such fun. All right, here we go, Ghost. Now that we have much other options here, tackle. Slam. Wow, look at that. Even at level 5, we have 78 HP. That seems like so much. Is that, that can't be normal. That's like a tremendous amount of HP, right? For normal. We win! We're amazing and unstoppable. Yay. All right, so one of the tricky things I know right in the... Well, maybe not. We have to be aware of is that there's Shinx right away once you walk out that gate. Um, like, right down the hill. And we obviously need to be very... New move, yay. Very wary of electric types with our, uh... Hmm. 
flying type Pokemon. I guess we resist with grass, so there is that. But man, we cannot we cannot lose little Flockhart. It cannot happen. It cannot happen. Awesome potions. Boondaba. We're gonna need lots of those. This is weird, so one of the things I'm always worried about when I'm playing through the main game is like making sure I have enough to like uh, materials to make more Pokeballs. Doesn't seem like as big a deal this time. Like we need a few, right? But healing items gonna be a big deal. I'm not gonna have any sort of weird um, healing rules. Like we can heal in battle, we can heal outside of battle. Not a big deal uh, as far as this goes. Um, what else? What else? Duplicate claws. Um, that will be in, a, in effect, I guess, to the effect that we can't catch Pokemon that are already in our Pokedex, right? So it's not like we can just go, like, catch... Like, I guess if we caught a Geodude, we could also potentially catch a Graveler, but we couldn't... Like, if we had a Graveler, we can't go catch another Graveler, even if we're in a new area or something like that. Let's keep knocking stuff out. All right, let's go! Yep. Be sure to come back alive. <laughs> Don't come back, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll try not to. If we come back dead, it's going to be a really short game. Really short game. All right, here we go. We're at first camp. We made it. Finally. This is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now, remember what you've got to do. you got to get Badoof, Starly, and Shinx. I'm on it. Let's go. Curious to see if the professor's stories are really true. <gasps> oh, professor! Ah, well, you see, Captain Silene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for what happens to our sudden guest. Wants to make sure she doesn't come back dead. To be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. Chase down to the real deal. Yeah, that's right. So in other words, that's right. It's all on you, Ray. If I die, it's on your head. Of course, I'll be dead, so I won't care about it, but, you know. Here we go. I mean, if I, I mean, I don't want to die. Let's just put that out there. <gasps> Ooh, this is Aspiration Hill. Great. Ooh, what a view. Lovely. This was their, like, Breath of the Wild moment. Look at all these places for you to explore. Yeah, yes. Look at Badoof! Get him! So this won't count as our first catch. For Aspiration Hill, as it were. You may be some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what they taught me. All right, yep. Hold on, ZL. I must never use this. Bum, bum, bottom. All right, here we go. Ready? Let's go catch a Bidoof. We're gonna. Whoop. Oh yeah. We're gonna get real quiet, real low to the ground here. We're just gonna walk around, walk around. Get him! Got it. No doubt. Boom! Oh, we are so good at this. Hope we got some experience. Now, on we march! That's right. I believe, though, we're gonna go up. Oh, what? Can I not go up there? Where are you even going? Where am I going? Where are you going? Leave me alone. I'm gonna go over here and get this medicinal leak. Where? Dude, Ray, chill your pants, dude. All right? I got stuff to do. I don't need your instructions. Now, Starly here is the type to run at the drop of a hat. Mm-hmm. But not to worry. Crouch down on the grass. That's how you get close. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, cool. Yep, we're good. Not going to be a problem. Woo! -hoo! We're crouching. We're coming for you, Starly. Gotcha. Yeah. Caught. Doesn't matter. We're releasing all these guys right now. Yeah. Two for two. The real power we have here is our impeccable aim, dare I say. Right? We are super good at aiming. Get that tree! Got some orange berries. Lovely. Lovely. Forgot to share another smidgen of wisdom. How to throw your partner's Pokeball. I already did it. Not sure if you were watching. What are you even watching? Yeah. Already did it. Yep. Hunt for berries. Bring back things. Now it's time for your partner's a shine. Catching a Shinx. All right. Let's go get it. Now this one they're going to be like 
It's gonna attack us. There it is, Shinx. <gasps> Menacing! Do we want a Shinx on our team? Based on the Pokemon available on Aspiration Hill, uh, yeah, I knew that already. It seems like maybe we should get you Shinx, you know? That figures. Me, I have to focus on a Pokemon carefully and notice a thing like that. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll knock away any balls you throw, so we don't want that. Yep, got that. Mm-hmm. Picked a fight with you, so we don't want to pick a fight with... Well, we're going to pick a lot of fights, actually. If you're trying to catch lots of Pokemon, then you want to catch fights, but we're not going to be catching that much stuff, so... Uh, now we're going to try and catch it. You've got a few Pokemon you're going to use now, don't you? Yes. Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it at one Pokemon if you want to battle. All right. Use what you learned. All right, we got it. Nuzlocke Cell has not officially started yet, right? Oh, yeah, so they just lock onto you immediately. So we're just gonna fight this guy. Boom! Oh, wasn't using the right button. Here we go. Time to die, Shinx. Leafage? All right, let's see it. Mm-hmm, effective. Quick attack, not effective. Shinx is looking around. He's like, wow, this Flockheart looks like it's going to win Pokemon Weekly's most charming beak smile. You can't knock the Sheik out. Oh, whoops. I was supposed to catch it. Ah, oh, butts. Let's go again. All right, no big deal. Now I have to fight another one. That's all right. We'll give it the old Gustaroo. We're just getting extra experience is what we're getting. Wow, that was not as good as the Leafage. Uh, let's hit it with another Gust. Quick attack, weak, sauce. Shinx is looking around, here we go. And caught. We can just endlessly fight these Shinx and prolong the uh, start of the Nuzlocke till we level up Rowlet a lot if we really wanted to. But we're not gonna do that because that seems out of the spirit of things. Ah! Did, you, did you really do that? That's three species of Pokemon caught. You really seem to be some kind of prodigy. Well, <laughs> I don't want to brag or anything, but. Uh... Perhaps. You must be given Professor Laventon the shock of his life. First you fall from the sky, then you go and catch all of our escape Pokemon. I honestly didn't believe the Professor's story. Yeah, I don't blame you for not believing it, but um, alas, it's true. <clears throat> Completed the trial. All right, we're amazing. Yay. It takes forever to get to the actual start of this game. So much tutorial. Said you passed off line colors. Seems you did just that. A commemorative photograph? Oh, look, he's got a camera. <laughs> Don't blink. <laughs> got to admit, it's true. You've got a real talent for this. Now then, we better report to Captain Silent. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? I guess so. Oh, yeah, look at us in our cool new matching outfits. Look at you. Yeah, you're one of us. I see you've changed regarding your accommodations. You may continue to use the room you slept in last night. Yay. You may wear this as well. What do I got? Hat? Bandana! Awesome. Now we look like the real Dawn. So many errands, man. All this guy does is stand in this room. I've been waiting for you. <clears throat> I am Kamado. Commander of Galaxy Expedition Team. <laughs> One of our friends is online. Mm, so you a J? Yes, sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky, like a totally normal person. Let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's fight. <laughs> Not with Pokemon. All right, that seemed unnecessary. <clears throat> You've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I see some potential. <laughs> okay. All right, boss. Can you imagine walking into work on your first day and your boss is like, all right, all right, let's sumo. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a potent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how hard you may seem, you're part of Juvelia Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of Galaxy Expedition Team. Blah, 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 but I warn you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. All right, let me go. I want to do stuff. We did it. Yay. So I really do like the crafting section of this game where you get to like make stuff by like collecting things from trees and stuff because um, 
It, it just feels like a fun way to like explore. It encourages you to encourages you to explore things, which is always good. I think craft. Yeah, look, we're gonna make these, and we're gonna make like um, how many we're we gonna make? Twenty. Yeah, let's do it. Great. We made it just like that. Boom. We have the recipe. Boom. That's it. Mash them together. Twenty pokeballs. Less than a second. Easy peasy. You'll recall, of course, the Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down with Pokeballs we craft. They can do, that's just, uh, did you know that? All Pokemon can just shrink. They just, whoop, that's it. Easy peasy. Here you are. Oh my god, thank goodness. Are we, can we finally go? A Pokedex, thank you. 40 minutes later. Wow. Okay, great. So, yeah, one of the things you can do is talk to these guys and they'll, like, um, give you a little missions to go do and... Then you can like, so this guy just wants a Wurmple. So if we go find a Wurmple, we can give it to him and uh, we'll do it. But that's only if we catch the Wurmple. And honestly, I don't know if we're going to waste the catch on a Wurmple. I mean, we got stuff to do. We got important things to catch that aren't Wurmples. So let's go. Heading outside of the village, are we? Yep, here we go. Fieldless camp. All right, we might finally be able to actually start playing and catching some of our first friends for our team. All right, so what we immediately need to prepare for is the very first, like, um, noble champion Pokemon or whatever, which is Cleavor, which is, uh, let's get right down to it. In order to complete this Pokedex files, there are a great many research tasks. I need your help to carry out, my girl. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for your reference anytime. Great, great, awesome, got it. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species to carry out plenty of research tasks. Mostly just going to be battling. Do so and you'll get research points and other rewards for your work. Excuse me. Now there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share for you, Jay. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When they do, dodge like your life depends on it. Yeah. Ready? Ready for the dodge? The invincible dodge. This is pretty cool. I do like it. Do that, nothing can hurt you. You're invincible. Mid-dodge. Haha. -ha. See, that's how you dodge. Wonderful. A timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by fierce attacks from wild Pokemon. So I suppose if we actually die from wild Pokemon, that uh, would you know pretty much end the Nuzlocke as well. Like if we get killed by wild Pokemon. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Hasn't really happened to me very much in the main game um, in my other playthroughs. So I'm not that concerned about it, but it may, who knows? Maybe I'll eat my words at some point. Learn some tips for carrying out research. All right, so we are finally about to be able to go out and catch some stuff. We're on Aspiration Hill here. I think we still have to get this guy to um, get ready for some server. Focus on the ZL button. Yeah, I got you. Do you see that research task, Badoof? Yeah. You got to get two, then four, then more. Yeah, I don't want to catch four Badoof, man. Not going to happen. And then it's time to battle Pokemon. Yeah. Don't care. So if we catch this Bidoof right here, um, oh, we should. We, these guys, man, we haven't been able to release these guys yet, but we do need to release them. They do not count towards our goal. Actually, what we should go do is go up here. I wonder if we can um, talk to the guy to release them straight up so we don't have to worry about accidentally breaking any sort of rules. I uh, see my Pokemon. Release. Get out of here. Okay. They're gone. We are officially semi underway. We have still, I guess I had to go complete, talk to this guy and, uh, <coughs> Have him explain to us some other rules of the game or whatever. It takes forever, I swear, to get really underway here. Got number just in a leak. What do you want? Ray. I know I'm laying it on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokedex. No, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. You're going to be waiting on a bit. I think we can officially go catch some stuff now. Let's see. Let's see. We can get our Rowlet to knock that tree down. The cool thing is you get experience for letting them do that. So, like, we got, like, 15 experience points just now for that. 
So here's a great example. Like we're on Aspiration Hill, right? If we go over here, I think we'll enter a new area at some point. Like there's a Wurmple, right, in this area. So. <coughs> like that's the first thing we've seen, but that's not necessary. So now we're in Horseshoe Plains, right? So if we caught that Wurmple, it would count as our catch for the catch for uh, Horseshoe Plains. We're not gonna catch it because I don't care about Wurmple. We're gonna go try and catch something else. Let's see. <coughs> Let's see. Let's see. I rec if I recall, right down there is the true prize that we want. Whoops. Get there. This is the re okay? Okay. So I am. Oh gosh, what am I doing? We're gonna get a berry ready because I'm pretty sure around that rock you can encounter an EV. And that's what we really, really want, is to catch an EV over here. That would be super duper cool. But it can run away, so we don't want that to happen. What we want to do, let's see. I'm just gonna get it ready too. I'm gonna get it ready, because I wanna catch it if we see it. I swear you can catch one over here. I think it's like a rarer encounter, but I think this is where you can, this is where I saw one, and I missed it on my own playthrough, and I definitely wanna try and get it this time though. Oh, the hunt is on, y'all. The hunt is on. Let's get Rowlet to go ahead. Oh, is that it? Is that it? No, that's a Bidoof. We don't want that Bidoof. That Bidoof is nothing to us. We want Eevee or nothing. We will find it. We can go over here. Grab ourselves whatever these things are. God, I swear this is the spot. But it seems like only these two Badoof are here at the moment. I wonder if we need to change the time of day or something. We can go rest at different times of day. We can get some easy levels just doing that, right? Okay, what we're gonna do, hold on. I'm gonna go change the time of day and then we're gonna go back down there. Here we go. All right, we're gonna rest until morning. Now we're gonna go check that rock again. We're gonna get it. So as far as Aspiration Hill is confirmed, concerned, we could probably catch the Shinx, right? Like Shinx is probably a pretty good catch, I think, for Aspiration Hill. I think we just go for it. First catch, hopefully. Level four Shinx, let's see. Leafage seemed to be more effective against it the first time. Quick attack, mm-hmm. And now I think we just go, over. oh, look at this. See, this is the problem. Like, it's not like so turn-based, like it is turn-based, but it's like, they can easily, um, like he just went twice and we didn't get to go again. So it's like, sometimes you think like, oh yeah, okay, I hit him for half, no big deal. He'll hit me, I'll hit him. But then they hit you twice and you die and that's no good. All right, we got a Shinx. Excellent. Ben, I need a name. Did you call my name? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No we got way. a Shinx. A Shinx? Yeah. We've had a Shinx before, haven't we? We have. It was our starter last time. Miles the Shinx. Miles the Spider Lion. <laughs> I love it. The there we go. Lion. Nobody ever sees it coming. No one ever sees it coming. Everyone's like, what is a lion? No, it's a spider. Boom. Spider Lion. Now you're caught in my web. Now you're caught in my web. Hmm. I have Queen playing in my ears right now. Okay. Who is the lead singer of Queen? Freddie Mercury? How about Mercury? Mercury! Noise! That's fun! Mercury! The Shanks! Welcome to the team. Huzzah! There we go. Ba bam. Give you guys some burrs. And we're off! Tremendous! We have our first team member, you guys. The question is can we get our second team member? And can that team member be an Eevee? Because that's what we want. We want Eevee right away. That would be super awesome. Eight, here we go. We're going down to the rocks again. I know the rock. There it is. That's the one. That's where the Eevee hides. Horseshoe Plains. All right. We've got Aspiration Hills down. Now we're going for Horseshoe Plains. I see a Bweasel. Oh, gosh. Is this the rock or is that the rock over there? Or is that the rock? Oh, gosh. I've forgotten which one it is now. No Gusta Badoof stuff. 
Oh my gosh, the hunt continues, you guys. All right, maybe we're gonna head to another section. We'll try this again later. All right, we have reset the day again. We're gonna, I know that's where the EV shows up. I know it, because I've seen it. And I think by resetting the day, we reset like the spawn rate a little bit. So we're gonna try that and see if it shows up. This is the goal. I won't make you sit through all of it, but this is what we're going for. Discovery, I can warp back here to reset rather than uh, having to run back every time. We're gonna keep resetting until morning until we find the freaking thing, maybe. Sorry, this is probably super boring, Riley. Okay, you guys, I've reset the day like 10, 12, maybe more than that number of times. I'm losing hope on catching the EV. I'm going crazy. I know it. this is where it's supposed to be, and it's a rare spawn, and it's supposed to be like a 16% spawn, and it is just not showing up for us. It is, it does not want to be on the team. If I don't catch it on this one, I'm just going to break down and catch a weasel, all right? We don't see it. We're going to be thorough, but it should appear somewhere on this, what is that? Shinx. Sleeping shanks. It normally is like in the grass. Oh, okay, we woke up the shanks. He's not happy about it. Come on, oh my gosh. It's like on this hill, this is where it lives. On this hill, there's some worm bowl. We don't want the worm bowl. We want the big EV. We want the EV. I swear, the Bidoof at the bottom of the hill are just laughing at me. They're like, it's never coming, man. You're never gonna get one. <gasps> oh, I thought that was gonna be it. It was a Starly instead. Lame. I swear I won't take this long to catch stuff in the future. I just really wanted the Eevee. I wanted it. It does not seem to want us. Once again, look, we get Ponyta instead, but I feel like the Buizel is going to be better overall for fighting Cleaver coming up here. Not too long into the future. Or maybe we just go for the big Rapidash. No, I don't think we can take that. It's like level 40 or something. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't see us, because then it could attack us. We don't want that either. All right, right over there. This is when I was, uh, this is. The very first EV I ever saw was right over here. It has forsaken us. Fine, fine. I give up, EV. You win. We're gonna go get a Bweasel and be done with it. No, will start playing the game for real. Sleeping. No, it's not. We're going to get him. Gotcha! Level two! Oh, weak sauce. All right, we got a lot of training to do with you. All right, Ben! I need a name. It's a Bweasel. A what? A Bweasel. A Bweasel? Yeah. How does one spell Bweasel? Like that. Oh! A Bweasel. A Bweasel. Okay. Okay, what do I know about a weasel? It's water. It has two tails. I've been on a pretty big Encanto kick, so I'm going to go with Luisa. Luisa! I love it. Also, Luisa the weasel. It occurred I wasn't in the shot down here. You were, so, yeah. Not in I, the shot now. Boom. So hey. Name me. I got I got to figure out where to go. Exactly. There we go. All right. We have Flockhart, Mercury, and Luisa. All right, you guys. The 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 Eevee hunt Took me way longer than anticipated, and we were not even successful, but it doesn't matter because we got Luisa instead, and uh, that's even better. Let's level up Luisa real quick. Ready? Boom. Knock down that rock. Get a level. I swear if that's an Eevee, 
It's not, okay. Wow, I, that would have been the worst. It's gonna be even worse if we run into one now, right? Now I don't even wanna run into one. That'd make me so mad. All right, guys, I think we're gonna call that the first episode. We've got our first three Pokemon, Luisa, Flockhart, and Mercury. Uh, next time we are gonna go train some Pokemon, try and get across that bridge, and uh, that'll be that. Then we will, uh, We'll start making our way towards Cleaver. I'm so excited for the rest of this uh, adventure. I think it's gonna get real difficult real fast. But in the meantime, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you want a future Pokemon named after you, uh, chosen by Master Namer. Ben, of course, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke action from us. But until next time, bye! And before we go, just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby Mondin, Afropunk, Aiden Rudineres, Brianna Bouchard, Bryant, Dakota Ballantyne, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Karen Choi, Kimberly Lee, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Rashaba, Robbie Cruz, Stacy, and 0412. Again, thank you all so much for your continued support over on Patreon. If you'd like to see your name on this wall, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. We also have some other really awesome tiers like our quarterly merch tier and one option to sit down and play some games with me and Ben once a month. If any of that sounds interesting to you, go check it out. Dead spork.